Every day we breathe in particles from the air, dust, germs, pollen, other pollutants, and they get stuck on the back of, in the back of our throat, at the, on the mucous membrane back there. And if, if you're allergic and there's pollen, you react to that pollen. If there's germs and it gets, it, it gets absorbed into your body, that germ can cause an illness. So using the neti pot washes away all those particles so that you don't have allergies, so you don't have sickness. So really everyone needs to use the neti pot because all of us are breathing that dirty air. Now, if you have allergies or you have chronic sinus problems, then you really need to use the neti pot because, you know, the act of washing your nose, the act of, the act of washing away the debris, the, the mucus, um, actually helps people who have chronic sinus problems resolve them. Most people have sinus infections because the sinuses aren't draining properly. And when you wash your nose with salt solution, you actually help keep the openings of the sinuses um, free and clear and draining properly. The sinuses, all of us have sinuses, these cavities, these, these spaces in our, in our bony structure, in our, in our head, and they're all mucous membrane lined and they're all making mucus and, the, and that's normal. But if the mucus can't get out of that sinus, then it causes pain and pressure and then infection. The neti pot can really help people who have, who have those kind of problems, but it can help everyone, truth be. The nose is divided into, into, two, into two sides and there's a septum between them that ends about at the, at the level of your cheeks. So you pour the, the water in one side, it goes around the back of the septum and out the other side. So it comes right out the other side of your nose. Simple. It doesn't go up into your brain, doesn't do anything funny in your ears. It's a very simple, simple um, um, structure here in your nose. Um, the nice thing about the neti pot is though is that there's no force. You just put your nose between the pot and gravity, and, the, and gravity pulls it right through your nose. So there's no pressure, there's no, there, there's no harm to, to your nose. Even if you're stuffy, there's no harm done by this method of nasal wash. The, the process is very passive. It's just the water flowing in one side, around the back, and out the other side. I've taught this to hundreds of people by now, and the majority of people say, it's so refreshing, it's, so, it's such a good feeling, it shouldn't be painful at all. Um, if the salt concentration is not right, that means if the salt's too, too salty or not enough salt, either way, too much or too little, it's going to make the nose burn. That's the only reason why you, you should have any, any sort of, of discomfort. Um, actually, the other, the other things that are sort of the things that can cause problems are if you put your head too far down, put your forehead too far down, you can get water up into your frontal sinus, which can cause a headache. And if you put the water in your nose and turn your head too far this way, too far with your nose up toward the ceiling, you can get water into your eustachian tube, the tube between your ear and your throat, and it can give you a sensation of having a plugged ear. But really those are the only really problems that people come up against with using the, the neti pot. Salt water um, is what your tears are made of. Actually every tissue in your body is, is bathed in this weak salt solution called saline. So we, we match that same solution as tears and run it through your nose so there's no irritation. It's only a soothing feeling. I tell people to bend over their sink with their chin lower than their forehead and then begin to turn their head so that their nose goes from straight down to straight over. And as they're doing that, they're lifting the pot. Um, so it's, it's, it takes a little while to get that, the mechanics of that, but once they get it, people find it very easy. Anybody can do it. Um, I've taught children as young as six. I've taught adults as old as 82. Um, any age can do it. And if you're stuffy, if you're congested, what will happen is you'll put the you'll start to pour the water through and it'll go drip, drip, drip instead of pouring th freely through, but you still can, can, can use it then. The only time I tell people to hold off is if they go to pour it in and nothing comes out. If it's just so blocked that nothing will pour through, I'd say, okay, hold off and, and wait till later. Um, um, deviated septum um, isn't an obstacle to this. It'll pour freer through one side than the other, but you still can do it with a deviated septum. 
I encourage everyone to use the neti pot every day, at least once a day. And if you have a cold or flu, use it as often as you need to. It could be you do it every hour, every two hours. Um, I have friends who do it um, very often, eight, ten times a day during allergy season. Um, so there's no harm in doing it more often. It's really you do it to your comfort level. That's the everyday thing, yeah. So if you're washing away the dirt and germs that you might actually have a sickness from or get a sickness from. The truth is all of us are breathing those, those germs in every day. So if you wash them away, then you don't get sick. Especially if you get exposed to you know, your, your office, everyone has the flu and you're trying not to get it. You wash your nose every day, you avoid in, uh, taking in that germ. Or if you work with kids and they all have, they all have you know, colds and flus, you're not gonna get sick from those kids if you wash your nose every day. It's really great. It's a great thing for prevention. The salt you use needs to be pure salt with no other thing added to it. So no um, iodine, um, ideally not even sea salt because sea salt has many other ingredients, minerals and a little bit of sand in it that you don't want to put in your nose. You just want pure sodium chloride. Really everyone needs to use the neti pot. 